So, time flies. I started out this month on the other side of the country and I thought I'd be able to cut a few videos from that trip. However, work got in the way and I was left without anything to post until today. So here we go. Today I'm walking around Roncesville Avenue in Toronto, Canada. I looked out the window this morning and it was very foggy. It seemed like a perfect day to go out and take some photos. Unfortunately for me, it didn't work out that way. By the time I got to a location I was interested in shooting, nearly all of the fog had dissipated and I was left with a lovely day for a stroll. Woe is me. I went out with my Fuji X-E4 as usual and paired it with my Viltrox 56mm f1.4. And I have to say, this lens rules for street photography. Purists will say that street photography is one thing and only one thing. That the rules dictate that you shoot with a 28mm lens or a 35mm lens and that there needs to be a person in your photograph for it to count as quote-unquote street photography. But that is a load of baloney as far as I'm concerned. The 85mm field of view is excellent at capturing a subject with enough context around them. Goalkeepers are silly. To me, street photography, or casual photography as I have called it in the past, is about taking in the environment and practicing, honing your craft. So much of the time your camera and lenses end up sitting at home until you get a call or text or email for your next job, if you do photo or video professionally. You then throw your gear in a bag and head out to work. And that's fine, but it's not for me. I live and breathe this shit. Any chance I can go out and challenge myself to take some good photos in an unfamiliar and unrehearsed environment, I take. The more you do it, the more the camera and lenses become an extension of your body, your eyes. You can see the shot long before you bring the camera up to your eye. If I were to give any advice to an up-and-coming photographer or anyone wishing to learn how to make photography more of an extension of your body, it would be this. Take pictures of everything, at any time, any location. Just go out and do it. There's only so much you can learn by watching videos of other people, myself included. There's only so far you can get by theorizing the concepts of photography. Without executing these ideas, your testing ground may end up being on a professional shoot, unprepared and unpracticed. When you are out taking pictures for yourself, you'll find there's types of photography that work for you, and others that may take more practice, or those that may not be for you at all. And the only way you're going to learn that is by doing, failing, trying again, improving, and so on and so on. Rinse and repeat. I wanted to thank you for coming along with me on this ongoing journey. It means a lot. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, adios.